Welcome to Nurse National Basketball Championship, hosted by UW Madison. I'm Aiden Lawler. And I'm Parker Goss. We've got Oregon and Creighton in a first round playoff matchup today. Loser goes home. You don't want to lose. You don't want to go home. You want to stay here. Yeah, let's just hope this is a good game. I mean, tough play. Let's make it, make it worth it. Creighton had a tough first round matchup, but they got out of it with a four point win. I expect this one to be up and down. I've seen a lot of Oregon this weekend and they like to run. Saw Creighton yesterday. They had a pretty good uh, few games. You just gotta work on some defense. Don't we all, <laughs> don't we all. Looking like we got two, five, 15, 23, and some unknown number for Oregon. We got 21, 10, oh, uh, one, tw uh, 32, and what is that, full eight? All right, Aiden, here's the tip. Let's do this. We got number eight up the court, two, good defense. Over to 21. One with a shot, no good. Good rebound by 32, though. That's a deep contested three here. I would bet you they're going to get a paint touch. No shot clock here at Nursa Basketball, so if they want to play slow, they can. If they've told <laughs> us anything thus far, they don't want to, so I don't expect it. No, we got some tough defense, though, by number two. There we go, up by 21, scored. Two points. I'd say that's a good start to the game. We got a minute down, two all. Oregon getting their first touch here, ball on the baseline, swung out to the three-point line. Up to 15. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Maybe they don't want to run after all. It looks like Creighton's getting <laughs> into a set here, five out. Hey, it's still early though. And this is not their first game of the day, nor the weekend. Maybe they're a little tired. Creighton is not nearly as deep as Oregon. Creighton's got one on the bench. We'll see if that plays a factor going into uh, the later parts of this we game. Go. We got a foul on the floor. We got a hit on two, 15 shooting two. For all of us at home, we've got a running clock here in the first quarter and up until the last two minutes of the first half and second. Then it'll be stopping and starting. That's just no good. We got one more though. I want to give a big shout out to our student officials here. Everyone here was nominated and accepted. They're well versed, they're experienced. We've got some returners to the National Basketball Tournament. We've got some regional standouts, and it's been great officiating all weekend. Good rebound by number 10 after a missed basket. Got eight going up. Good defense by two, like usual. Oh, we do have a reaching foul, though. A little too good, maybe. <laughs> Sideline out of bounds here for Creighton into the backcourt. If nothing else, Oregon is going to learn how to defend a ball screen today. <laughs> that seems to be Creighton's bread and butter. Much like their varsity counterparts, they love to shoot from deep. There's that pace I was talking about. There we go, basket's good. Two for 21. And one, count the bucket. We have 15 with a body. Basket's good. 
We're gonna slow down the pace a little bit from their usual. As Oregon brings the ball up the floor here, I know it's early. They're going to want to see one fall through. That's a good look. Offensive rebound to three, five rather. And good on the second try for seven from Oregon. Oregon electing to play tight on ball defense, picking up as soon as they cross half, and that'll be a foul. We're going the other way. See, when you set a screen, you gotta keep your feet still. I is mean, that so? Aiden? That is so. He was just—he moved with them. It's not not allowed. I think he's been watching a little NBA. That was a little <laughs> Gortat screen, if I've ever seen one. Real, real heads, no. Creighton with a zone here again. I I, I gotta chalk that up to their lack of depth. Big wow. defensive play. Ball corralled by 15 for Oregon. Good bounce pass. Million dollar look, 10 cent finish, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> we got Creighton bringing the ball up. Couple of good looks not falling here for both sides. There that go. one's good, though. Got to think both these teams might be coming out a little bit tight. Like I said in the, in the intro, it's lose or go home. Win or go home, rather. I'm not sending the winner home. That'd be a hell of a treat. Congrats, you won. <laughs> Pack it up. Oh, no good there with the three. We do have a good post alignment though on both teams. They're definitely getting a run for their money. Oregon pushing the pace a little bit more here again. I expect him to continue that. Looks like we had someone along the baseline. We'll have Creighton taking it out. Creighton electing to slow it down. There's one of those ball screens. That was a good one. No movement, no call. Deep three, and it's good. I don't know if that's a shot they'll want to see all night, but uh, if you make it, who am I to say? <laughs> With only six players, I, I feel like that's going to be a shot we're going to see all day. Oregon looks to return one. Can't answer another offensive rebound. Ball tipped. Love to see him get on the floor. It's going to stay with Oregon, but 32 from Creighton deserves some uh, some props there. Laying all the way out. I could hear it up here on the fourth floor. Two and 23 out. We got one and 11 subbing in for him. Good contested shot by 15. We had two shots. 21 hit him on the arm. And a reminder for those at home, these are not the intramural games you might be familiar with. This is club basketball. These are quality refs and they're calling it tight. No good on the first from 15. A couple of missed free throws for Oregon now. They're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna clean that up. There 15 we go. is good on the second one. Like to see that one fall for 15. There you go. Another good contested post right there. Just fell short of the rebound. Seven bringing it up. Wide open three for 11. 11? Point to note for those at home here on both sides, there is no defensive three in the key. So if you see someone parked down there, they can make a night of it. 
It's allowing Creighton to play that zone they're looking to play. Maybe disguise their lack of depth a little bit. 10 for three. No oh, good. Oh, with a rebound. And we got a foul on the play. Tell you what, Aiden, I was checking these teams in and I, I a little tongue in cheek, I asked Oregon if they drove here. And I think they picked up on it because they said yes. They did not drive here. They did not drive from Eugene. They flew. That's a missed free throw from Creighton number 10. I'll come clean. That was a bit I was working all weekend. If they came from any farther than five-hour drive, we were going to talk about it. Pass to 11. Seven yards the ball. There we go. Paint touch here. Oregon looking to attack the zone. We had two, uh, one for two. There we go. We got a good pass and cut here. I think you'll continue to see those mid-range jumpers trying to attack the gaps in the zone that Creighton's playing. Whew. A little hesitant there at the jump. We got Creighton a three answers. for 33. As we wrap up the first quarter, we've got Creighton 11, Oregon 7. Not exactly a barn burner on our hands here, no. but I think it was an enjoyable first quarter nonetheless. That is a change that we made this year with Nurse of Basketball, going to quarters as opposed to halves. Any thoughts on that, Aiden? I love the quarters. From an official standpoint, I like the quarters. We got, uh, they've got time to discuss what they, what they need to work on, uh, how they're seeing the game. But this is also going to translate into our high school basketball. Uh, we Absolutely. got NFHS changing their rules. So. Not only is it going to be a change in club ball, but all across the country in high school. And I do think the writing's on the wall. I do expect NCAA men's to, to abandon the halves before long as well. I, I think the bonus is where that really comes into play. Uh, no one wants to see your, your team or anyone you're watching go into the bonus with eight minutes left in the <laughs> half. That's a lot of free throws. Yeah. We got Oregon 11 inbound in the ball here to start the second quarter. We got a zone defense by Creighton. Yep, and that's exactly what I was talking about earlier, Aiden. We see another mid-range jump shot. Some call it a lost art. Not when they're able to play a zone like this. Mm -hmm. Those are good looks. I expect to see more of that. Number one almost pulled that off the ball screen <laughs> from the spiking line. Keep an eye on him. Might want to might want to extend the defense. He wants to Here shoot. We go. Creighton off the glass extends the lead to four. Oregon's got to get that ball to the middle and cut. Yeah, we've gotten a little stagnant on this possession. I, I, they can get the good looks for three. Get a foul. I'd expect that one to be one we focus on in review. Who am I to say from 15 feet suspended in the air? I didn't see any contact. <laughs> I don't know. From an official standpoint, that might be a goaltending. It was up there. Basket interference, maybe. A little short on the free throw for 23. Good thing he's got another, but again, another missed opportunity for Oregon. We got 33 coming in for five. In what's shaping up to be a low scoring, tightly contested game, <laughs> you're gonna want those. Every point matters here. Especially with the loser going home. We got a good basket by 23. I feel like I've been dogging Oregon for these free throws. Gonna say something nice about them. <laughs> I love their jerseys. Yes. Oh, what was... A lot of contact in midcourt here. Now the game's really sped up to what I expected to see earlier. Maybe Oregon chooses to slow it down and attack that zone, but uh, 
Just Shoulders. kidding. 11 Deep from the for number one. 11. The fake. There we go. Best. It's good. You get a one point difference. Starting to speed up a little bit. I like it. Always a little bit of pressure on that second shot after you get the offensive rebound. You miss the first one. Eight for two. It's a good spin away. Two shots on one possession. Missed. That's tough. But Oregon is able to put it in. Again, and these aren't bad looks for Oregon. I, I do think they're going to want to pound it inside a little bit. They can get that same jump shot look a little bit closer to the rim, and I think you'll expect more to fall. That deep three is exactly what Creighton's wanting him to shoot. That's a good out to one. We got one shot dribble. Number one with the quick trigger. He wanted that. Yeah. Team with the fake. There it is, more of that. Rebound to Creighton, they like to slow it down. Deep three. But we got a rebound on 21. Offensive rebound. Another opportunity left at the at the table there. Big shout out to Oregon Unified as well, who showed up and played in our Unified division. We as charge. we get a player control foul, headed the other way. What am I talking about? Player control foul. It's a charge. It's all the same, but it's yeah, a charge. Yeah, it's the same. It's... I got officiating on the brain this weekend after <laughs> hanging out with so many of our clinicians who've donated their time. I've learned a bunch, but I'm always going to call it a charge. Even as officials, we call it a charge, though. So as, as you should. I don't think I've ever gone up and reported player <laughs> control. That'll confuse the players for yeah. sure. Creighton looking to extend their lead here. Working in around the perimeter. We got a foul on the play. 24 with a hold, I presume. Oh, push. We got a push. Tell you what, number one's got a quick, quick trigger. I believe that was going up on that fake. He would have had me. Would have shook me right out of my boots. <laughs> Then you know what would have happened, Aiden? What? They would have said, Parker, why are you playing basketball in boots? <laughs> I know my time as a as no way here, I probably would have told you to take them off, get some real shoes on. We had 21 for two. You've done a little bit of everything for us here at UW, haven't you, Aiden? Yeah, I'm an official. I started as an OA last, or this semester. It's a good time. We had a lot, a lot of opportunities here, though. I know they couldn't get one to fall there, but I think Oregon would like to see, again, more shots at the basket. That zone, they just have to keep moving the ball. It'll be there. They just have to trust it. We got two, uh, 10 for two. Thirty-three here, looking to get a touch at the baseline. He knows. Another good look for three from the corner. That's one you got to take. Up the floor for Creighton. Another ball screen. They elect to not switch. Some tight physical defense there, though. Yeah, eight off the glass. That was a tough finish. We'll see if they uh, continue not to switch that ball screen. That was a great three by one. Made three for Oregon, made possible there, again, by the paint touch to 33. Either as a facilitator or the scorer himself, he's really going to play a, a big role Wide in Oregon's offense. Uh, 
the smells right there. Both teams very comfortable from shooting beyond the high school three-point line we're using. Off the glass for Oregon. Cuts the Creighton lead to six. With two minutes, 30 seconds left in the half. Cuts the lead to four, rather. Got a little physical there, I like it. Oregon's trying to stop the increase of points. There we go. That was a tough shot by 21. Timeout, Oregon. What do you think they're discussing in the timeout here, Aiden? What would you tell them if you were coaching either side here? I would tell Oregon, they gotta, with the zone going, they have to keep swinging the ball. If they swing the ball, they're gonna be open, wide open. Uh, especially because uh, Blue's got, what, they got six players, they're gonna get tired. Yep, they came out here with seven. Unfortunately, it does look like they're down one due to an injury they suffered in the play-in. Wishing the best for him, but I, I agree. Not to beleaguer the point, but it's really gonna be imperative to pound the rock into 33. Free throw line, free throw line extended there because what Creighton's wanting to do with that zone is force the contested threes. They're making a, a calculated bet that Oregon's not going to hit them. Oregon can't let them uh, get goaded into taking more. <laughs> I know if we were out on the playground, they told me to shoot it, I was going to shoot it. You just got to be patient. patient. Don't be let like me, kids. Let everything work through. Five out for Oregon here as they slide. Uh, they slide seven and five back down low. Open three. Good for that's a big shot. Cuts the lead to three with 90 seconds left in that first half. Tournament director Bailey Kenny at the bottom of the screen here, calling shots somewhere. <laughs> what a good. Good As there is there. an absolute scramble, <laughs> we narrowly avoided a dog pile at midcourt here as Oregon comes away with it, pushing the pace. There you go, they, they're swinging that ball. I bet that's what they talked about, man. Their time out there. There you go. That's a fundamental basket right there. You ever do the mic and drill, Aiden? That's what that looked like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think anyone over 5'10 has done that at some point. <laughs> Under the basket. Oh, get acquainted. Look at, look at Hacks there. Stays here with Creighton. Mike and Drill. Oh, that brings back nightmares. Arms are tired. Yeah, Aiden, I am a 5'10 power forward. Not a big market for that. <laughs> what was... I think I get 53 shots up in a minute. It was... I'm, I'm right under the basket. <laughs> Six, my my over left here. hand is useless. <laughs> yeah, 10 seconds left of the quarter. Half. Both, really. Good look from seven there for Oregon. And that'll bring us to the half. We got 24, Oregon, 23, Creighton, as Oregon takes the lead.
And we're back. Uh, what do we got? We got 25 Oregon. 23 Cree. 33 is going to be in inbounding the ball to start the second half. Yeah, I think with Oregon taking the lead there to finish up the first half, this these first couple of possessions for Creighton are going to be huge. It's a small sample size, but if Oregon hits a few threes, I think this game could get out of hand, and they're certainly going to have the opportunity. We had a change in defense here. There we go. Good put up on 21. Oregon 2 bringing up the floor here. Really moving the ball around. There's one of those threes I'm talking about. There we go. Ooh. Best is good on 15. We got a foul. I think green number five heard three. Didn't ask how. Deciding to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, it's 21 with the foul. I think that's his second or third right now. And that brings up a good point, Aiden. Creighton definitely does not want any of these players to end up in foul trouble. The last thing you want right now is, is five on the floor with no <laughs> subs. Could definitely be the disadvantage considering Oregon's got an entire bench there. The ball stagnates at the top here. 21 looking oh, for an ISO, there gets it go. ripped. Oregon pushes the pace. Two for two. Creighton's going to need to match Oregon's scoring here. Got a deep three from one. And that's just not the kind of looks you want. I, I think they need to get the ball at the basket, whether that be ISO, set plays, that ball screen. But you, you can't settle for deep deep threes when you're trying to remain in this game. Skip pass from Oregon. Looking to get it to five. Looks taken away. Three ball for 23, but an offensive rebound. Another good look at three. And another rebound. offensive rebound. If Blue wants to stay in this game, they got to get in there and shove a little. They got to match the energy of Oregon. Get a foul. 15. I think that's true. Oh, it is a foul. You're right. I thought that was just last touched Oregon heading the other way. All comes out in the wash. We've got the ball on the baseline here for Creighton. If they're going to continue to work that ball screen, I, I think they need to find some more looks at the basket. That'll do it. I think more of that, and you can expect some of those shots to fall. If you're great, you're very happy with that offense. Great behind the back dribble here from eight. Drops him. Can't finish. If he did, that would have been prime for the N1 mixtape. <laughs> 23 going baseline, good dump off to number seven. Off the glass, and that's good. I think it's time Creighton takes their time out. They had some stuff to discuss. Hey, use them or lose them. Looks like 23 caught the sideline there. Ball's gonna stay here with Creighton. Creighton taking some creative liberties here, opting for the baby blues as opposed to the, the normal royal blue that the varsity squad's wearing. I'll tell you what, I like it. Out to one who again is looking for his shot. There you go. Oregon moving fast as usual. Oh. We got a block with the block. Not to be confused with the team control foul. <laughs> I'll be honest, can't stand that verbiage. <laughs> really kicking myself for bringing that up earlier. <laughs> 23 to the line here. I'll tell you what, if I'm him, I'm taking my time. 
I'm Morgan. I've got a little 10-point lead. That came out of nowhere. They were losing before. Yeah, they're on, I believe, a 13-4 a, a to 4 run here. Almost entering kill shot territory. Any of my analytics heads, that would be a 15-point separation in the run. 21 with the hard foul. Looks like he's going to shake it off. Don't want to take too many more of those. Foul on five. With eight for Creighton inbound in the ball here. They're going to want some better looks from number one. Narrowly avoiding the travel in the lane. <laughs> Generously not getting hit with the travel, I would even <laughs> say. <laughs> As Creighton turns the ball over, Oregon looks to run. Honestly, though, what, what is a travel? It's hard to say. I had a good clinician tell me once, you know it when you see it. Doesn't really help, but it no. is true. I don't know, some of these players must be <laughs> watching the NBA. Six steps. Another deep three from Creighton. And I don't want to beleaguer the point. I think they're getting a little gassed as we get a block. That was a good call. Yeah, it looked like the, the middle of the zone there for Creighton was firmly in the restricted area. Don't think he has a lot to stand on here as he has a light banter with our ref, who's facilitating the free throws here. I got to give a shout out to Oregon. Number 23 and two are grading it. Doing a great job orchestrating the offense as he's able to capitalize. I will say, restricted area isn't a thing. Only NBA uh, college. Then why'd they paint it on the floor, Aiden? Then why'd That's they paint it on point. the floor? I wish we wouldn't have, because in intramurals here, we get yelled <laughs> at all the time. Ball stays here with Creighton. Getting yelled at in intramurals, I find that hard to believe. I think you're spinning a tail here. I don't know what 16 technical <laughs> fouls last semester, or last season. But who's counting? Yeah, who's counting? <laughs> Number two steps up here. I think looking to begin the count on that five second. Swing pass to one. Has yet to find a shot he doesn't like, but he's good from the corner. Creighton needed that one sorely as they are down 11 with just under 13 minutes to play. Nice dump off from seven to 15 there, who's able to finish. You know, I would say Creighton doesn't need to settle for threes here, but they've been doing it all night. All night, it's 1.30. <laughs> I've been here since 7 o'clock, folks. It's all night to me. Just short. 10 misses a tough look around the basket. 23 looking to push the pace, and it's coming right back for, or for Creighton. Going for the, the tough left-hand finish there. No good. 7 brings it up for Oregon. Big block from number one, who's really stepped up here. Can't corral the ball, though, and seven off the glass for two. Sometimes, Aiden, thems be the breaks. <laughs> As Oregon extends their lead to 15. We've got some good play today. This is definitely a good matchup. And Creighton is not out of this game by any means. That is a big upside to their three-point heavy offense. Oh, we if they get hot... Twenty-one. Ball's gonna stay here as we get a rare sub for Creighton. Twenty-one gonna catch some pine here. They need him. That's his like third or fourth right there. He's gonna be in there for the end of the game. Ball poked away by one from Oregon. That dang buzzer sound. <laughs> Can we do something about that buzzer? We are in mercy roll, so that clock's not going to stop. Creighton inbounds the ball to one here. 
one looking to pick him up full court. I, I, I think he'd rather just get back. going to travel. Travel for Oregon here. Ball coming up with Creighton. Tough ask to try and pick someone up full court when you're down to, to five or six active players. <laughs> Definitely expect them to slow it down a little on offense, though, per usual. I don't know, Aiden, down 15. I, I think they just need to uh, need to pick up the pace a little bit. Looking a little stagnant on offense. Was... Tough time to pick up the dribble there for eight. And that's the quarter. And going into the fourth quarter, we've got Oregon 43, Creighton 28. If Creighton can do something spectacular, they won't be going home. But it's going to take something spectacular. <laughs> We see our officials convening here at the break, making the most out of their whole 30 seconds they get here between quarters. Talking over case plays, building camaraderie. Love to see that. And I will say, I think this has been a well-officiated game. I don't know how you would feel, yeah, Aiden. Very, very well. The it's, trained eye. Yeah, it's good to know that we've got some of the best officials across the country here uh, officiating our Nurse Championship tournament. Well, good question. Uh, officials were chosen based off their merit. Uh, they applied through a, uh, an application-based process and uh, were advanced on their skills among other officials. Yeah, to add to that, everyone here has officiated at either a regional or another national tournament. And not only that, but they stood out. They were a cut above. Wisconsin's got five officials here this weekend. Just saying. As 15 takes it Ooh. to the rack for Oregon. There we go. Hoop plus the harm. Count that one. He's going to go to the line. And you remember when I said they're going to miss those free throws that they didn't yeah. hit earlier? Yeah. I don't know. They're up 17. <laughs> <laughs> See, like we mentioned earlier, every point counts. They were trailing behind, now they're above. Especially in the play-in games, where the uh, point differential was deciding seeding, as 15 can't capitalize on the free throw. Deep three. Deep three just off from eight. If you're the Creighton coach, Aiden, what are, what are you telling them? You're staring at a 17-point deficit as you let go another offensive rebound to 23. With nine minutes left, I'd, I'd tell him to play full court. Uh, no more zone, man defense. Everyone's got to put their all. I do think these two teams are fairly evenly matched in terms of athleticism. I don't think the full court press is a bad call. That being said, don't put me in there to run a full court press <laughs> for nine consecutive minutes. Not unless you want to pick me up off the floor as eight's able to cash in the mid-range jumper. Cuts the lead to 15. I don't know, 15 point. They got to do something. Don't let them get hot. Number seven for Oregon has been living in the lane and that's done great for their offense as he takes a contested turnaround jumper here. Can't hit it. Ball coming up with Creighton here. Tip going to stay here. Seven's coming out, replaced by 11. 11. Sideline out of bounds here for Creighton. Offense is just looking a little stagnant. If the shots aren't falling, I don't I don't know what they turn to. We had a contested three. Can't get the roll, but they're able to corral the rebound. Out to number one. Just off. So yeah, I feel like they gotta get some inside shots. They need threes, but 
If they're not going to hit him, they need to get something, right? Number one for Creighton's the tallest player on the court, and I don't think I've seen him touch it in the paint. I don't know if he's got any interest in it. If I were him, I'd look into it. Ball at the floor here for Oregon, number 11, commanding the offense. There we go. That was a good pass to 15. Basket's good. Beautiful seal out from 15 to catch the bounce pass for the easy lay-in with the left hand. It was a good drive. Looks like we've got uh, the fighting Illini showing up here along the baseline. <laughs> Not for nothing, that'd be my favorite to win this tournament. There we go. Three. Uh, one for three. That was a good shot, uncontested. Three ball corner pocket for Oregon. Extends their lead to 18. And it's scary hours for Creighton. I think that's a good look, but maybe two. There we go. I stand corrected <laughs> off the glass. Hopefully not for naught. Oregon's really just gotten a lot of easy looks as they get another one, 15 off the glass. They've gotten a lot of good looks this second half. I think that might be that fatigue we were alluding to earlier, creeping up on Creighton. Yeah, with only six players, it's, it's pretty difficult to play an entire game, especially when uh, Oregon's got so many individuals, so many great athletes uh, being able to, oh, travel there. Yeah, there we go. All right, with That's the... Uh, with the after hours dunk attempt from 21 there. Shout out to one for fixing the net. <laughs> I can't get up there and fix that. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. I think 21 uh, narrowly avoided attack there for Creighton. I'm yeah, not one to call for a technical foul, but you, you dunk after the whistle. I'm definitely a game. tech heavy, tech heavy official. He definitely would have gotten one. <laughs> I think our refs may just be being a little gracious here with a 20-point deficit they're facing. I don't blame them. Oregon's been on fire this second half, extending the lead, open it up to 20 points. Deep three. Woo! I'd call it a heat check. But what's a heat check when we're pretty sure you're not hot? I don't know. That was all air. You know what they say, fire is uh, grown through air. They say that, Aiden? I, I think they say it. They might say it in like like fourth grade firefighter Avatar? safety. No, the pass just... tipped off the backboard. Oregon wants to run. Behind the back pass, another easy look. Unfortunately, that attempt is blown by number 33 there. He's gonna hear about that one later. <laughs> And the threes are just not falling for Creighton here. I think it'd be a little too, too little too late anyway, but we've got a timeout. I think Oregon's gonna shuffle in some new blood. They're about 15 deep on that bench, Aiden. Yeah, it's, they brought a lot of people. That hotel bill is, is not gonna be small. I don't know, I, I'd say that, that that right rim is, something might be up with it. That's what you think it is? Oregon didn't score nearly as much no. in the first half when they were headed that way. I don't know. Our maintenance, building maintenance, did a really good job resetting all the nets. All the nets, the, the rims, uh, changing the height to 10 feet, uh, from 10 feet. One of our athletic trainers, Kyle Gibson, came up to me earlier and I think he just wanted to uh, set me off a little bit. He says, does that rim look a little low to you? <laughs> no, Kyle, it didn't look a little low to me. I think they look great. As we restart play here with Oregon inbounding the ball, sideline into the backcourt, taking it up the floor here. See, Parker, if you were Oregon, would you want to waste time right now? We got... 330 left or would you want to blow them out you know I'm not going to tell you to run the four corners offense and uh, shoot the ball once every 90 seconds but I think there's something to be said for just keeping your momentum 
I mean, it's not like these this team's playing again in a, in a week or in a couple of days. They're going to be playing again in a couple hours. Yeah. So if that's me, I'm looking to just keep up, keep up the pace. Don't stagnate on offense and just try and keep the ball rolling. Side out of bounds here for number one. Into the backcourt. As we look ahead in the bracket a little bit here, barring a whew, truly unprecedented comeback from Creighton, <laughs> what do you think it's going to take for a team to expose some of Oregon's weaknesses? All I'm going to say is it would help if they had more than six people playable. Uh, that's that's really what hurt them in this, this game. Box number one to take down Oregon. Bring more than six guys. I will say, I commend Creighton for keeping up the effort for the whole game, yep. even running six guys. This was a competitive first half as Oregon makes another three to go up 25. The final score is not going to tell the tale here because that first half was looking like it could be all Creighton. Another tough shot from number eight here. Ooh. Got a behind the back foul. Big fan of the jump stop is number eight. Clock stop, but it shouldn't be because we are in mercy. Lord have mercy <laughs> on Creighton. <laughs> Looks like uh, our scores table might have received a good word there. We've got the clock back running. As we're just under 100 seconds real time before this one wraps up. A couple more offensive rebounds for Oregon. Creighton pushes the pace. Not able to convert. That's it in for 33. And Aiden, I think Oregon heard me about keeping up the pace here, even though they're <laughs> nursing quite the lead. The foot has not left the gas pedal. If I'm them, I'm coming here to play as well. Don't take pity on me. Hey, I mean, at least Creighton's got some time to finish up their homework that they missed Thursday, Friday. Um, they had a long ride back. I think they're here all weekend, though, staying. I've made that drive. The windy Nebraska Plains. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm not dying to make that drive again, but they run a, a heck of a flag football tournament. Flag football. This broadcast is coming to flag football next. I'm making it happen. Oh, we got a foul. What happened there? Foul on the inbound. No one told them this game's almost over. Let's uh, let's mind the baseline here, as we uh, have teams shuttling in for their game on court eight. Quick reminder: game happening right now on court seven. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful back, back cut. cut. Exactly right, Aiden. And it's looking like the final score of this one's gonna be 63 Oregon, 34 Creighton. I think Oregon covered. Yeah, it was a, it was definitely a good first half, and then I don't I must have lost steam at the second. Like you gotta think so. Great sportsmanship by both sides here as we shake hands in the the post-game handshake line. One thing you wanna let our viewers know as we head to a break before our next round of games, Aiden. I don't know. This is just the, this is just the start. Uh, we'll see Oregon in their next next game. Uh, it's going to be a higher intensity game. So let's see if they push up the speed there. Um, they're already a fast team, but let's see where it takes them. All right. Back to you, producer Carl. 